Hi, I'm Stu at Cross Country Ski Headquarters here in Michigan, and we're going to do a quick how-to on the Turnanic bindings. First, we're going to go over how to put the bindings onto the ski and how to adjust them, and then we're going to talk about why you would ever want to adjust your Turnanic bindings. So, first we're going to show you how to put the binding on. So, the binding, whenever you need to move the binding along the ski, this little button right here is going to be in the back position. Once you put it in position, you're going to lock it like that. And it is a two-click motion, so you'll hear two clicks each time. So we're going to put it on. It's in the open position. Now line it up right in front of the IFP plate. And once the heel gets in line, we're going to make sure that gets on the IFP plate. We're going to pull it back until in this little window we see zero. So once we're in position there, we are going to slide that forward, two clicks, and it's locked and loaded. So if we want to adjust it, same process, we're going to pull that back, two clicks, and we can move it forward to plus three, or backwards to minus three. And don't forget to always click that forward. It might need a little jiggling to get that second click. So there we go. So why would you ever want to adjust your binding? For classic skis, if you move the binding forward, you get more grip. So if you're out on your classic skis and you feel like you're not getting enough grip climbing the hills, you can adjust your binding forward. Um, you're gonna lose a little bit of glide, but you will gain grip. And vice versa, if you have plenty of grip, you have grip to spare, you can move your binding back. And the way I like to explain to people is think about how you're shifting your weight on your classic skis. If you move your weight forward onto your toes, move your weight forward, the skis grip. If you lean back on your heels, you get more glide. So binding back for glide, binding forward for more grip. For skate skis, it's a little different because we, we don't need grip with, uh, with skate skis. Moving the binding forward will put more weight on the, the tip of the ski. So if you're on especially icy conditions or possibly if the skis are a little bit too stiff for you, putting the binding forward will give you more control of the ski tip. So icy conditions, skis that are a little bit stiffer for you, forward will get more weight on the ski tip and more control of the ski tip. Now, if we move the binding back on your skate skis, you're gonna reduce the weight on the ski tip. The skis will wanna glide more, but you will lose some control of the, of the ski tip. Um, if it's soft snow um, or it's falling snow when you're skate skiing and your ski tips are digging a little bit, move the bindings back. That'll help the ski tips float up. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So skate skis, bindings forward, more control of the tip, binding back, more glide. And that's just about it. Uh, if you ever have questions about anything cross country, just uh, go visit crosscountryski.com or give us a call at 1-800-832-2663. Thanks.